Dear children, uh, we have already learnt about nouns and kinds of nouns. Now let's go a little further. Okay, now today's topic is nouns and numbers. Numbers. Uh, in the nouns, uh, there can be uh, it's a singular number and plural number. Now what is singular number and plural number? Or a noun said to be singular. When it is said to be a singular, when it is said to be a singular, if it refers to one person, one thing, then it is called as a singular, singular noun. Now let's say boy, girl, or book. Whatever you see, what is a singular number which refers to one thing or one person. Oh, now, what is plural number? Ah, noun said to be plural uh, when it refers or if it refers to more than one person. Very, very important. More than. More than one. One person. Thing. Yes. Okay. We will see, etc. So it can be boys, girls, books. So it is in plural number. Plural number. When it refers to more than one thing or one person, then we call it as a what is a plural number. Nouns can be uh, countable. The nouns and uncountable nouns. So remember, nouns can be countable nouns and uncountable nouns. Uh, countable nouns means what? Countable nouns are the things that we can count. Remember, the countable nouns uh, are the things that we can count. Now let's say chair, table, book. In your room, you can see so many things. Uh, or you have scale, pens, which you can count like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, which you can count. Okay, they are called as a uh, countable nouns. Now, uncountable nouns, the things that we cannot count like 1, 2, 3, 4, we cannot count. Like example, you know, we have water, milk, sugar, salt, oil. <coughs> Uh, you have so many ghee, honey, you cannot count them as uh, one water, two water, three water, four water, or milk, you can't count one milk, two milk, or oil, one oil, two oil, we cannot count. Those are called as uh, uncountable nouns. Uncountable nouns. So remember, uh, countable nouns which we can count, uh, and uncountable which we cannot count by like one, two, three, four, like that. And remember, only countable nouns can have a plural form. Countable nouns can have a plural form. Now you see chair, chairs, tables, you can have. Here we cannot say milks. Uncountable nouns do not have a plural form. Do not have a plural form. We cannot say milks, sugars, salts, oil. It is wrong. So uncountable nouns don't have plural form. So that is what we must remember. Remember, following nouns have same plural forms as for the singular. There are many more. Only I am giving only a few for you here. Uh, following nouns have same plural form as for the singular. Uh, singular and plural same. Now sheep, deer, dozen, fish. They have the same form. Now let's say the example. Sheep. This, this is a singular. This sheep has no wool on it. This sheep has no wool on it. Now if you want to say uh, plural. Those sheep only. Not sheep. Those sheep have wool on them. Wool on them. Now deer. Now let's say deer. This deer has long horns and those deer deer have long horns not deers those deer 
Now another, let's say, does. Dozen itself is a, uh, what is there? It gives a singular and plural same. So you see that bring me one dozen buttons and my sisters, uh, my sister gave me two dozen, not two dozens, one dozen and two dozen. So that is what we have to remember with regard to these words. Following, you see, look at here, following nouns are always similar, always similar, like furniture, news, scenery, etc. So remember, uh, so there are uh, this furniture, news, scenery, maybe information or uh, traffic, uh, shopping, all these are uh, what you know, always in singular form. Now, let us say furniture. The new furniture is on sale. Or the, uh, this news is quite interesting. We can say the scenery of uh, uh, Chikodi is charming. Charming. That's what we have. This is always. These words are always in singular. Singular. That's what we mean. Following nouns are always plural. Previously we said singular. Now following nouns are always plural. Like cattle, people, clothes, uh, or seasons, causes. These always are plural. Now let's say the cattle are grazing in the field. The cattle are grazing. Are plural. People, the people, the people were running. Running in the field. People were running in the field. People were running. Now, seasons. Now, let's say the seasons of this barber are sharp. Are sharp. Seasons are trousers. His trousers are good. See, trousers are. So, always it is used in plural form.